Welcome back to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, continuing with uh, the What's New in 8080. Um, now we have a show version uh, command for boot code specifically, uh, which we didn't have in the past. That was just through the regular show version. Um, and it'll also give you a mismatch warning. So let's have a quick look at that. Um, so if we do a uh, show version here, um, one of the things we see at the bottom is it's telling me warning boot monitor version mismatch. Uh, please use show uh, boot dash monitor command for details. And if I use that command, um, we will see that um, stack unit one. So, you know, I only have one unit in my stack here, but um, stack unit one, the current version I'm running is 10.1.11 and the recommended version is 10.1.12 and it tells you there's a mismatch there. So um, that's a good way if you didn't bother to check the release notes like you should have before you did the upgrade, it's a good way to tell you've got a mismatch. Um, as well as when the system first boots up, it's going to give you the same uh, warning message that was above um, that that you've got a mismatch. Now, had you used the um, the uh, universal firmware uh, image, like we discussed in another video, or if you used a manifest file, then the system would have fixed that for you. But had you decided to um, you know upgrade those files separately uh, using the original old school method, then you could have a mismatch there, and the system's going to tell you. So, you know that's a, a source of many issues is when you leave an incorrect version of boot code with a newer firmware or older firmware. If that it's the case. So um, anyway, another new feature in 8080 um, and pretty handy. But again, you know, if you're using the uh, the universal firmware upgrade, then, you know, you, or universal firmware image, then that shouldn't be an issue anyway. So uh, that is definitely our recommended procedure. All right. So that's it for today. Have a great day and take care.